what's going on folks another episode of ryan reviews everything and yes i know the weekend has passed and uh hey i'm just going to talk about a quick review for the guardians of the galaxy volume three and i'm not going to front like like i you know knew about the guardians of the galaxy before the movies came out like i was a big x-men fan big avengers fan wasn't that familiar with guardians of the galaxy so i say that just to say that when the movies first came out is is the first time I really got into it. Uh, I'm not saying it just because I recently saw it, but I really truly think that this third installation of Goddess of the Galaxy is the best one out of the three. Um, just so many, just so much epic moments in this one. Um, uh, and as you know, from one thing that all of them have in common, at least for me, that soundtrack gonna be fire. But the thing that I really enjoyed about this one the most is it really. The thing I really enjoy about this one the most is that it really, um, it really talks about Rocket's backstory or origin story, and that's one of my favorite characters um, out of the uh, Garden of the Galaxy. And I don't, I'm not going to say that a spoiler review because if you see the previews, you kind of get the hint that there's some type of past or history going on with the rocket um but either way i thought that was dope and it was just like this old you know if it really just ah, i'm at a loss for words it really just showed how like this group really cares for one another how they're bound to just you know put their life on the line for one another like it's really one of those things where you know of course they're not blood related but it's definitely they definitely treat each other like a family and you truly see it in this particular one um and also another thing that was another uh interesting um, part of this uh, particular one is this is the first um movie guardian of the galaxy movie where we see the uh the new gamora if you will you know for those who remember the uh avengers the infinity war on part we definitely see that the original gamora dies but she you know like a, a different gamora is brought back from the past or what have you you know how the whole quantum timeline thing goes so this is the first one where we actually see the new gamora in action you know and you know there's this back and forth between um between quill and, and gamora it's just it was just dope um another thing i really enjoyed um I can be kind of a stickler when it comes to um, certain movies. Like, I don't like certain Marvel movies to have too much comedy in it. But for some reason, I do feel like the Guardians of the Galaxy kind of is like it's almost like an exception to the rule. Like, it's a lot of comedy in it, but for some reason, it works. Um, and, and but yeah, I, I thought this was was dope. Like, you know, it's goofy at some parts. But when it's time to get down to business and fight, it is so dope. Like some of the fighting sequences were just amazing. The fighting choreo choreography was just amazing throughout. Um, there were definitely, there's definitely um, a particular uh, see, a, a fight sequence that I just truly enjoy when like the gang is truly um, all back together and it's just beautiful. I mean, you got the soundtrack pumping. You got this whole squad, you know, um, just reunited after it was like a wild and crazy journey throughout this whole movie. You just got to watch it, man. Um, I know, I hope I didn't give too much away. And also like the cameos. I will end it with this. The cameos I thought was dope. Um, there's a particular show I watch every week that I don't do a review on, but I, I do find I am a fan of The Rookie. And so just to see this random um, appearance from Nathan Fillion, better known as, well, probably known, best known for his role as John Nolan from The Rookie. He pops up and he really pretty much kind of plays the same guy except in outer space. And then like this fat suit, best way I could describe it. But uh, I just find him like, of course he's an actor, so of course he's going to get multiple roles. But I, <laughs> there's something about him. I feel like he's just... He was just a pop up in the most random, least expected stuff. Like I didn't expect to see him in Guardians of the Galaxy, just like I didn't expect him to see him in um, Big Mouse. And he was like on a few seasons of that. So it's just funny. 
Uh, all in all, this was a dope movie. James Gunn is was brilliant um, for this whole trilogy. Um, but once again, I really feel like this one is his best work. And love it or hate it, folks. That's my review. Highly suggest you check it out. Peace.